I'm going to see how quickly you can grab a Bible. I'm going to see how quickly you can grab a Bible, then I'm going to get out the way because it's not my night to preach. So I'm going to get out the way. Give me five minutes, Lori. Give me five minutes. I'm going to get out the way. Well, you, well, get your Bible. I'm waiting on you to... Don't be acting like I'm taking all the time. You can't find your Bible. Get your Bible. Philippians. Philippians. Chapter number two. Philippians chapter number two. And I'm not even going to wait on you to get there. Verse number nine. Wherefore, God... I'm reading from the King James Version. Good enough for Paul and Jesus. Good enough for me. That's, that's a joke. Wherefore God has also, hath also highly exalted him, meaning Jesus, and given him a name which is above every name. Now, now underline every name. And right out to the side of it, you could, you could draw a reference to page number 128 in Divine Encounter. Had a preacher call me from California. He's got about 15,000 people on Sunday morning. And he said, I'm telling you, I've picked that book up. I can't put it down. Would you send me every piece of research that you used to put that book together? He said, I can't stand it. I can't sleep for it. I'm rolling in my bed. Revelation is flowing. He said, when you got to that thing about 5770 to 5770 uh, to 5780, when you got to that decade and you started saying we could be negative or, or positive regarding the prophetic during this decade, Okay. He said, I laid my hands on my belly and I asked God to allow revelation to start flowing in me. He said, I haven't put my pen down for days. He said, I'm seeing stuff I've never seen here and stuff from God I've never heard. Well, what about you? I said, what about you? Oh, stop it, Lori. Look, she just held up a sign and said, you got three minutes left. <laughs> but, but see, when Jesus gave him a name above every name, uh, he gave him a name above the 161 compound names of Jehovah God. Why? Because in the name Lord Jesus Christ, all the 161 Jehovah names of God are combined and released in that one phrase, the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody give him praise, give him glory. Because when you shout the Lord Jesus Christ, you're shouting Jehovah, Joshua, salvation is of the Lord, Joshua, right? Hoshea, who became Joshua because Moses spoke it over him and then God breathed the Yah on him, a J on him for Jehovah and then breathed the H on him, put an H in there for H for Hey, so that he would receive the Spirit of God and that's how Joshua said these other uh, these other ten spies say it's impossible but Joshua said give us this mountain because salvation is of the Lord and therefore we are more than able to take this mountain by ourselves we are nothing with him we are all things for God hath high exalted him and given him a name Jehovah Joshua Messiah Christ the anointed one and his anointing now throw both hands up and shout Jesus Lord Jesus Christ man elder elder Gaming told me he said he said pastor you left folks with their chins on their chest telling them not to pray in the name of Jesus well, I didn't tell you not to pray in the name of Jesus. I just told you, if you want more anointing and you want to really get a revelation of what you're doing. Now, how many of you since Sunday morning realize that when you're praying and you say, Lord Jesus Christ, there's a whole lot more anointing on what you're doing. Jesus, a common name. Joshua became a common name in, in Palestine. Same as Mark or George or John. But, but... But when you put Jehovah in front of it, and then you put Christ on the end of it, I'm telling you, the devil don't like you to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because he got no wiggle room. <laughs> 
We used to say in Kentucky, you hemmed him in. He got nowhere to go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I take authority over that deafness. I take authority over that dumbness. I take authority over that rebellious spirit. I take authority over that murdering spirit. I take authority over that. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He got nowhere to go, man. You got him hemmed in. All right. So God hath highly exalted him, given him a name above every name, that at the, which is a, given him a name above every name, verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue shall, including mine, should confess, should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So there you have it, don't you? The Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus, Joshua, Christ, Messiah, anointed one in his anointing, is the Lord Jehovah. And there come all the Jehovah names of God. Now put your hands together and give that name praise and give it glory. Yeah, that at that name, your sickness is going to bow. At that name, at that name, that fever's going to go. At that name, that rebellious spirit's coming out of your children. At that name, you're killing me. God going to make a way where there is no way. You believe that. All right, look at this. Acts chapter 2, verse 26. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly into which you've been grafted in, into that olive branch, assuredly that God has made that same Jesus whom you have crucified both Lord and Christ. So he distinguishes himself, doesn't he? Jesus is distinguished by God the Father when he announced that he is both Lord and Christ. So he is Jehovah and Messiah, Joshua, this Jesus, born of a virgin, raised in Nazareth. Are you with me? God gave him a name above every name because he put Jehovah on the front of it and then he put Christ on the end of it and made him Lord over all things in heaven above, in earth beneath, and things below the earth. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm telling you that name gives the devil no wiggle room. No wiggle room. Hallelujah. I bind that fever and I bind that ear infection. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bind you now. I rebuke you. I command those you station tubes to be clear, to be clear right now, and that no tubes are needed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody give him praise and give him glory. Now, now then, now then, now then, then Jesus comes along and makes that statement, hitherto you have asked nothing in my name. Does that just freak you out? Because they'd ask some stuff, you know. He said, hitherto, why'd you, why'd you make it disappear? Hitherto you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Now, now he goes on and says, you've asked nothing in my name, but after this, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Now he's either a liar or that's true. I said he's either a liar or that's true. I said he's either a liar or that's true. He's either a liar, that's true. He's either a liar, that's true. Now before this, you've asked nothing in my name. Here's what it's saying. You have comparatively, before this moment, asked nothing compared to what you could have asked. I didn't mean to talk about you. I said, Jesus said, 
Hitherto you've asked nothing in my name. But then he said, you haven't asked anything in my name. He's saying comparatively to what you could have asked. I got a question for you. I, I hear you. I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and bids me at my father's throne make all my wants and wishes known in seasons of distress and grief my soul has often found relief and oft escaped the tempter's snare by thy return sweet hour of prayer so i ask you this question what have you not received simply because you didn't ask? Who's in hell tonight instead of heaven because you didn't ask? Who could have been delivered and wasn't because you didn't ask? What blessing could you be walking in right now? that you're not walking in simply because you didn't ask. I've got a suggestion. Ephesians 3.20 Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Here's my suggestion. Let's start asking. Okay. Let's start asking. I've given all my shoes away, all of them. There was a time I liked shoes a lot. There was a time. And uh, now I don't really care. And uh, it, it's, it's odd, you know, the, the more mature you get, the less things that used to have meaning seem to not have any meaning anymore. Amen. And uh, I'd given away all my shoes, all, all of them. I had one pair, I had one pair, and they had holes about as big as a quarter right in the ball of the foot of them. Now I'm a preacher, and I was getting ready to go preach, and I knelt down, and I thought, Lord, when I kneel down, when I kneel down like that, put my foot up, people are going to see holes in my shoes, and here I am, preacher of prosperity. And I remember tossing that shoe. I said, when are you going to get me some shoes? And just as plainly as I was rebellious, I heard the Holy Ghost say, when are you going to ask me? I just have to ask you the question, what are you not asking for? Now don't get that old, relig get that old religious look off your face now. Get that religious look off your face. Like, well, now you know. Brother Rod, I've read the Bible. And the Bible. And the Bible says that we don't receive because we ask amiss. Well, what's amiss? Come on now. You being all religious on me, you ought to have the exegesis and the word study. What's amiss mean? It means with wrong, evil, or selfish motive to heap it onto your own lust. So here's my second suggestion for you. Why don't you ask for something for somebody other than you? See, the whole time I've been talking, I've been, I've been, why don't you ask? Why don't you ask? Why don't you ask? And all you've been thinking about is you. Oh, that burnt, didn't it? That burnt just like a brand and iron. <laughs> huh? Been thinking about you. Well, why didn't I ask for this? And why didn't I ask for this? And why didn't I ask for this? And at least 90% of everything that was running through your gray matter was about, some, was about you, not about somebody else. So tonight, we're going to do what the Bible says. If you want to be healed, pray for somebody else. That way you absolutely know 
that it's not wrong, evil, or selfish motive if you're praying for it for somebody else. You, did I just help you? So then he says, therefore, ask and you shall receive. Not going to be open unto you. Seek and you will find. If you ask the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want everybody to get an envelope right now. Everybody. I don't want to see anybody without an envelope. Everybody get an envelope. And the first thing I want you to write on the back of that envelope is who you're praying for tonight. Who you're praying for tonight. Get yourself an envelope. Get yourself an envelope. Who you're praying for tonight. Who you're praying for tonight. Then I wrote down, they had asked nothing compared to what God will do and what he has to give. You've asked nothing. You've comparatively asked nothing to what God will do and what he possesses to release into your life and through you to others. Comparative. You've asked nothing comparatively. Now it goes on and says, after this, you ask the Father in my name, he'll give it to you. Why? Now the veil's wrench, you see. Now the power of God is released in totality. Now they're inspired by the Holy Spirit. Now they say, lame man, get up and walk. Hallelujah. Silver and gold have I none, but what I do have I give you in the name of Jesus. So we're going to give to that person tonight whose name's on that envelope right now you got it lay your hands on that envelope lay your hands on it and when i say three shout that person's name one two and i mean shout it one two three okay that was really weak we're going to try again one two three you, you say why do you want us to do that because the bible says seed the heavens and establish the earth Seed the heavens, establish the earth, declare the decree. Shout that name again on three. One, two, three. Now this time when, when I say three, I want you to shout that name and, the, and their name. And then I want you to shout right after it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You ready? On three. One, two, three. Now shout. Now stand up. Stand up, get that envelope in your hand. Get that envelope in your hand. Shout that name again and then shout in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do it now. Now pray for them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just pray for them right now. Pray for them right now. Pray for them. Pray for them. You're not praying with wrong, evil, or selfish motive. And God said, whatever you ask Jesus, whatever you ask the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, He will give it to you. Believe for them right now. Believe for them right now. Believe. Call their name. Speak that name. The Lord Jesus Christ over them. Speak it into their lives. Speak the power of that name. Speak the anointing of that name. Now shout hallelujah to the top of your lungs. It is done. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now rejoice over All right, be seated. Be seated. I'm going to get out of the way. But wait a minute. But wait a minute. Now get your offering. Now get your offering. I'm going to suggest a $32 seed. Why? Ephesians 3.20 exceeding abundantly above all that you could ask or think that this very night your prayer life has changed forever tonight tonight your prayer life receives an anointing and a power it's never been expressed in before and that god almighty is hearkening to your prayers as never before as you pray in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah because when you're praying you're praying jehovah rafika the eternally self-existent one that heals. Jehovah Sidkenu, our righteousness. Jehovah Makedesh, our holiness. Jehovah Rohi, our shepherd. Jehovah Rapha, the eternally self-existent one that heals. Jehovah Shama, hallelujah. The God who is personally present. Jehovah Shalom, the God of our peace. 
Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Nissi, our banner of completed victory. Jehovah Isus Hagaboth, the Lord strong and mighty. Jehovah Mapalti, the God who did, who does, and who shall yet. Every time you say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're saying everything I'm saying right now. Glory to God. Glory to God. You ready to sow your seed? All right. All right. Brother on the second row riding. Dan still riding. All right, Dr. Dr. Turpin still riding. Hallelujah. Just take your time. And all, the, all of they enjoy making zeros. Just lots of zeros. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Ha, ah, thank you. Thank you. The healing virtue of God is all over this building right now. It's just, it's all over this building right now. Hallelujah. 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 See, you see, you see. You look at me and you say, Pastor, and Pastor comes out of me. You look at, Ashton looks at me and says, Daddy, Daddy comes out of me. Hallelujah. Joni looks at me and says, Honey, and all of a sudden I get sweet. <laughs> and what you've been doing, you've been, you've been calling Jehovah Rapha. Yes. You've been calling him healer, yes. so he comes to heal. You've been calling him righteous, so he comes to make you righteous. I, I got to get out of here. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Yes. Are you encouraged? Yes. Hallelujah. Do you believe that seed is going to multiply yes. and come back to you? Yes. Well, put your hand on it and say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command you, seed, multiply and come back and bless me. Ooh. Don't ask it, tell it. Don't ask it, tell it. Bless the Lord.